You have a dream. Nobody believes in you. You feel all alone. Not supported. You want to follow your dreams. Your family thinks you're nuts. What should I do? What should I do? Something I don't talk about too much to be totally honest with it, but you guys know that my entire life all I've really wanted to do was surround myself with animals. That was my only dream in life. There was never anything else. There wasn't another career option. I just knew I wanted to spend my life with reptiles. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it is tough when the people around you think you're crazy, right? When the people that you want to support you think that you're doing the wrong thing and they think it's a phase that you're gonna eventually grow out of. And obviously I knew it wasn't gonna be a phase that I grew out of because I was so obsessed with them. And 25 years of my life was really spent breeding snakes. You know, it started breeding in my mom's basement, which she never wanted to go even look at my animals. Ultimately, I ended up moving to my own house, having a house full of snakes, getting my first building, continuing to grow. And the thing that really was a bummer is that, you know, my family and my mom in particular never came to visit any of my places. As much as I believed in myself and I wanted to pave that way and make sure that I could just surround myself with animals of course it was a bummer that my family wasn't there to see what I was accomplishing now don't get me wrong I can imagine as a parent to think that your kid wants to breed snakes for a living is kind of a hard thing to kind of swallow but I wanted to prove that I could do it not only to make them proud but also to fulfill my dream of working with animals for a living and there's really two points to this vlog. Number one, I'm sure some of you out there are trying to fulfill your dreams, whether it's working with animals or whatever you want to do, and people aren't supporting you. I'm here to tell you that even without the support, you can still fulfill those dreams. You can do those things. Yeah, it's nice to have that support, but don't give up on yourself just because the people around you are trying to make you not follow your dreams. Always go for it. Look at 30 years later, I'm still doing it, and I'm in the best phase of my entire life when it comes to working with animals. The second part of this vlog is that my my mom is actually coming today for the very first time. My sister's in from Hawaii and she's bringing her here. She's never seen any of my places and today she's coming. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but I want her to look and be proud of what her son did. But before they come, I do have a bunch of snake work I've gotta get done. After all, my entire day isn't gonna be dedicated to that. So I'm gonna jump into it with a really cool clutch of ball pythons that just hatched. This clutch was actually a fire yellow belly bred to a dragonfly. The dragonfly is a pastel, it's a fire, and it is a pinstripe. And I tell you what, there are some really good results in there. This one is a fire pinstripe, which is probably also a yellow belly. Really absolutely beautiful. Let me just look at the dorsal striping, absolutely incredible. And then there's just some pinstripes in here. Don't think this is a fire pinstripe, I think this is just a normal pinstripe here. We have, let's see, I'm just looking through, there's so much cool stuff in here, it's crazy. This is just basically a normal fire ball python right here, so no other additional genes. This is just a pastel ball python here, which the pastel is on the dragonfly side. We have another really beautiful, for sure, fire pinstripe yellow belly. And you can really see that yellow belly influence by breaking that pattern up. The other one was super striped. This one is super kind of jigsaw -y. Really a beautiful snake. Then we have a few unbelievable animals here. These are actually dragonfly yellow bellies. So this is basically the all gene animal, right? This is a pastel, it's a fire, it's a pinstripe, and it's a yellow belly. And we had three of them. How awesome is that? I tell you, these things are gorgeous. And then finally, I love this little monkey right here. This is actually a little super fire ball python because again, the fire was on the dragonfly side and the fire yellow belly side. And this is the black eyed leucistic. We always show you guys the blue eyed leucistic. The black eyed lucies are the ones that have that dark ruby eye. And some of them have yellow blotching on them. This particular one is solid white and absolutely gorgeous. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit sick with anticipation, so I wanna keep my mind off things for a little bit, and I've got a perfect way to do it. We've been wanting to get Jeffrey, the hypogranite Burmese, over to the Raptarium because it's just such a beautiful animal and super tame. It's got the same kind of disposition as Sunrise had at this size. So we finally freed up a cage when we moved Diddy and Dixie into their new enclosure. There's a cage that we cleaned out, disinfected, just perfect for Jeffrey. Now granted, he's gonna get big quick, so he's only gonna be in there for a little bit of time, but it'll be great to get him over to the Raptarium. So what do you say? We go put Jeffrey in his new digs. So 
Here it is, Jeffrey's new digs. Let's hope he likes it again. He'll grow out of it pretty quick. And I think it's gonna be awesome because kids are gonna love him. Look at how gorgeous he is. And he's gonna get an opportunity to kind of climb around and there's a little hiding spot over in the corner here. There's some heat spots. He can get it close to the, the basking light over here. I think he's gonna absolutely love this. And he looks so gorgeous. I mean, that's what he should be in is a cage like this so that you can really enjoy his beauty. I tell you what, what an amazing animal. And when he gets larger, we'll just find a new habitat for him and keep on moving him up. This guy's gonna be a hit over here at the Reptarium. Gonna continue to remind you guys, two days from now on Sunday, we are doing our one year anniversary here, 12 o'clock till eight o'clock. We will be open, we're gonna have stuff out front. I've told you guys it's gonna be absolutely, I'm really excited about this. And then you can of course come into the Reptarium too. Uh, 12 to eight, definitely come join us. If you're ever thinking about coming to the Reptarium, this Sunday is the time to come. Oh, my mom is coming for the very first time today. Never That's been. awesome. So what does your family think of you working with animals? They weren't surprised. I've All always right. had, oh yeah, I was always out catching snakes and toads and right. trying to keep stuff. And you know, I had a green iguana when I was little. So, uh, so they, they were like, oh wow, dream come true for you. Oh, I'm so like, yeah, for sure. Of you. Very supportive, uh, super awesome. supportive. So that's it's, awesome. it's really nice. That's the way it should be. But you know, I'm just happy that my mom's coming with my sister today, even though it's taken 30 something years. To I get can't her to come. wait to meet Mrs. Barczyk. That is know, awesome, man. Crazy. I know. Well, Hopefully she won't roll away too bad because she's yeah. in a wheelchair. But, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but, what does she think though? What does she think of all this? She, she, she always thought I was going to grow out of it. Yeah. You know, she always thought it was a passing phase. You know. That's so, so funny. Uh, and here you are now, 30 years later. It's still here. That's crazy, man. That's <laughs> right. pretty cool. Well, that's awesome, dude. Thanks. All right, guys. I just seen they pulled up. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. I mean, I can lie to you. Heart palpitation. My mom's right over here. So as soon as they come in, I'll go meet them, and uh, we'll come in and and uh, see how things go. This is my sister. Hello. This is Tim. This is my brother-in-law, Courtney, my niece, my brother, and of course my mom over here. Come on in, guys. So what do you think, mom? This is my big snake, Lucy, over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This snake is 20 foot long. This is a reticulated yeah. python. What do you think, mom? I'm amazed. Yeah? Yeah, I couldn't picture it. You couldn't picture it? <laughs> it's crazy, right? Did you see my big tortoise over here? I did. This is Matilda. She's oh, coming over to her. see. Matilda's only 15 years old. Only 15? Only 15. This is Jay. Hi. He's my nice camera guy and uh, editor and emotional support animal. <laughs> This is Daisy over here. What do you think, Mom? It's wild, huh? Yeah. This is Bruce. Bruce, this is my mom. Hi. Hi, it's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. <laughs> guys, up. Oh. oh. It's pretty emotional. To have my family here. I'm so grateful they came and to see my mom. It seemed like she was amazed. It was amazing. So I'm going to try to pull myself together, and then I'm going to show them some animals. We're going to have a good time. So, but um, it's pretty, pretty, pretty special day. Okay, breath, breathe, and then let's go show some animals and have a good time. All right. Dinova here. Hey Nova, and he's a daddy. He just had babies just hatched out like a week and a half ago. So this is actually a frilled dragon. You can pat him if you want. See he has those big frills that he'll frill up. Remember Jurassic Park? Yeah. The dinosaur that frills? This is just like that. That's called the Dilophosaurus. So this is just like the Dilophosaurus. Yeah, a lot of teeth. <laughs> Easier to eat you with. No, this guy's so tame. Nothing I take out is bit. We've been here for an entire year. As a matter of fact, this weekend is our entire year anniversary, and uh, we've never had any get bit by anything. Nobody ever got bit. Just me. What? So cute. Hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She was just like perched, kind of just like that. I always say that what happens is, is he comes up and he sits at the front of the cage and he looks out, and I always say he thinks we're on exhibit. You know, yeah, like we're the animals. He's, it's like we're here for his entertainment. It's uh, like literally when we're open for the public, he literally just comes up and he people watches all night long. What's different about this snake? Oh my God. You see? 
He's got two heads. Yes, it's got two heads. Is that crazy? Yeah. This is named Ben and Jerry. That's what the name. One is Ben and one. Yep, is this Jerry. one's Ben and this one's Jerry. What type of snake? Oh, this is a California king snake. Not by me. <laughs> wow. What do you think? Look at that rainbow. I can't believe you're touching these snakes. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like, what is this wheelchair? I'm so happy that you are. I'm gonna lick on you like hello. So it may look like he's gonna explode out of here, but in truth, he's not. As soon as you open up the door, now he's just gonna kind of slowly kind of check you guys out. He's so smart that he literally, he's like, who are you people? I don't know you, I'm gonna smell, I'm gonna take my time and come out. But the reason I have this ball in my hand is I'm gonna show you guys in a second here. He's actually trained, it's called target training. What we wanna do is we don't want him to ever think a little kid's finger is food. So what we do is we train him to only eat if he sees a blue ball. Mom, you first. Mm, take wow. this, take this, you squeeze hold. real hard. Oh, it's squeeze real hard, harder, harder, okay. harder, harder. Yeah, okay. okay, so oh, give, give a second, watch, watch. Elvis, come, come, up, 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 up. Now put it right in his mouth. Go right down to his mouth. There you go. Oh, he's got straight. I know, right? Hold it right out of my hand. Up here, up here. Come on, all the way up, all the way up. Come on. There you go, you can give him that now. Good job, Elvis. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you so here. much. I'm oh. just totally amazed. You like it? Oh yes, I'm very so much. You came and you held so much stuff. I'm so happy <laughs> you made my day. Yeah. You guys all night. What do you guys think? This is amazing. It's awesome. awesome. so everything. It's so great to have the family together and to see all the hard work I did. I'm so glad you guys are here for me. So it's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> We're happy to be here. <laughs> I think the snake is happy going down there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I tell you what, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would have this moment. You know, the moment where not only my whole family is here, that I grew up with my brother, my sister, my mom, but the fact that my mom's been handling animals and she always hated them and she never thought I was doing something that was meaningful, I guess. And, and it was amazing to see her open up and seems like she enjoyed it. She held a tarantula. I mean, it, it is amazing. And I guess, again, just to encourage you guys, like, don't ever give up. You know, when you're following your dreams, even if the people around you aren't gonna support you immediately, maybe down the road they'll see what you're doing and they'll be proud of you. And, and this has been such an emotional experience for me. I'm glad that I was able to share it with you guys and bring you guys along, because you're my family too. And uh, it's one of the better days of my life. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am, uh, I'm just uh, kind of shaking on the inside from excitement and everything. Uh, I kind of, I think I might need a nap after this because I'm going to be emotionally drawn, but what an amazing time. Truly amazing to have my mom and my family here today. I mean, after all these years working and finally having them see all of this was so emotional and so incredible. And I want to just continue to tell you guys to follow your dreams. And even if people around you aren't supporting you, one day they may come around. And today was that day and it was one of the happiest days I can ever remember. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, here's another video I think you'll like, an entire playlist if you'd like to hit right over here. Over here you can hit that subscribe button. Please turn that notification bell on. Have a wonderful day, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.